What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Irtiza vs. Mustafa Sports Talk. Oh, man, last night was was some interesting fights. Interesting fights. I told you, Ben Askren sucks. <laughs> I told, uh, in boxing, he sucks. He might be a good martial artist, but he didn't prove himself in the, the biggest promotion, which is the UFC. But I was telling you Jake Paul's going to win. Another bet loss. Another... Another. I'm sorry for stuttering, man, but it hurts to lose money every week on these fights. But I was telling you, Jake Paul was gonna win. I just just by watching his YouTube videos, I was telling you Ben Askren can't box. I think you can probably beat him if you get a one month of training. Well, I don't know about any of that, but and yeah, I was definitely disappointed. Um, you know, I honestly, th- first of all, the fight, you know, he he threw a good punch. Jake Paul threw a good punch. He he was he was focused. He was determined. The whole the whole atmosphere of that fight is a joke. But the fight itself and the fighters, they're pretty serious. That's what I liked about it. But the announcers, especially Oscar De La Hoya, that was just garbage. But other than that, the event was really good. Um some really good fights in it. Uh but yeah, man, I was disappointed. I I just thought that Ben Ashkin would be able to take a punch. I knew he wasn't the best boxer, but I had a feeling that he was, uh, you know, he was playing everybody. With the videos he was putting up of him sparring or him training, hitting the heavy bag, hitting, hitting the mitts. I thought he was just joking around. Obviously, to me, that looked like he was garbage. I thought, like, if you look at those, you're like, how is this guy even a professional fighter? So I thought he was just joking around. And, and sending those videos out on purpose to make people think, that he's not going to win and to be the underdog going in. But I guess, I mean, those are real, I guess. It's unfortunate. I thought he was going to win. But, you know, it was a good fight by Jake Paul. It was a good fight and he was the first time he beat a professional fighter. So, absolutely amazing win for him. Uh, let's see what happens in the future with him. Yeah, man, he, he showed pretty good boxing skills. He threw a, a couple of jabs to the body and then that overhand right. Ben Askren's a bum. It is what it is. Mazdorov called it. He was saying that he doesn't represent the MMA community because he can't really fight. I guess he was right, man. I guess we have to listen to Mazdorov next time, but terrible performance. Terrible, terrible performance by Ben Askren, but outstanding performance by Jake Paul. Maybe Jake Paul is the next big thing. He's proven it. He's calling out, he started calling out, uh, I think, Conor McGregor. He called out many people. Dylan Dennis wants to fight him. I think he said Nate Diaz, and I, I've been hearing that uh, Tyrone Woodley wants to fight him. But Tyrone Woodley would be a good matchup. I would actually like to see that happen because McGregor is a bit too small, and the UFC needs to uh, like they're not gonna let him just go and fight. Tyrone's coming off like multiple losses. He might even get cut by the UFC. So that fight makes sense, and Tyrone's a bigger opponent. He won't be he won't be like so small like Nate Robinson was. I mean, you know, he did beat a professional fighter, definitely. But Ben Askren, man, Ben Askren really let me down. I honestly thought he would be able to take a punch. That surprised me. I knew he wasn't a good boxer, but I thought he could take a punch. But, you know, I want to see Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley. I agree with you there. If Jake Paul fights Tyron Woodley, a guy that is bigger, and he beats Tyron Woodley, man, then, then he's the real deal. He's beaten professional MMA fighter. Then he's beaten a professional MMA fighter that's a champion in the UFC and one of the best fighters of all time in the UFC. One of the best welterweights, definitely, of all time. So if I, I really hope that fight happens. I would love to see that fight. I would definitely pay to see that fight. But, you know, that that would be a good fight. I, I might have to favor Tyron Woodley in that one just because of his experience in MMA, but I, I'm not going to doubt Jake Paul anymore. I'm a, I'm a believer. I'm definitely not going to doubt Jake Paul anymore. Tyron Woodley would be a good fight, but realistically, I don't think Jake Paul's going to take that fight. He called out uh, Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor. Do you think that fight's going to happen? Any of those two fights? Uh, Jake Paul versus McGregor or Jake Paul versus Diaz? No, I don't, I don't see those fights happening because they're always scheduled to fight. Uh, I think Conor's fighting in June or July, and Nate Diaz is fighting uh, Leon Edwards upcoming too. So after their fight, they're going to have to take months off if they win and don't get injured 
So I don't think that's going to happen. Plus, I don't think Dana White's just going to allow his, like, two of his biggest stars to just go fight um, Jake Paul. So I, I don't think that's going to happen. I was saying Tyrone Woodley because he's coming off many losses. It doesn't really affect him if, they, if he gets let go from the UFC. So that's why I was thinking of him and he was cornering Ben Askren. So we're going to have to... I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, I don't think the McGregor fight's happening anytime soon, uh, whether McGregor loses or not. Especially if McGregor wins, I don't think that fight's happening at all. I think if McGregor wins and Diaz wins, then uh, next fight, Diaz versus Edwards and McGregor versus Poirier, I think if they can both pull off that win, they're going to do Diaz-McGregor 3. But I think if uh, Diaz loses against Leon, then I think Diaz might actually fight uh, Jake Paul. I can see that fight happening. And that fight will sell out. Diaz is a big star. Jake Paul is a big star. And I, I would love to see that fight as well. Diaz is smaller than Jake Paul, but he can box. He's one, he's one of the best boxers in MMA. And he can take a beating. So, you know, it's going to be hard. He's not, this is not Jake Paul. I mean, this is not Ben Askren, sorry. It's going to be hard to knock out Nate Diaz. And like I said, if he beats Aaron Woodley... I, I'd have to give him a, a shout out for being a real boxer, but I think if he beats Diaz, I'd also have to. Diaz would be a very, very impressive win if Jake Paul can pull that off. And if Diaz beats Jake Paul, especially coming after uh, off a loss, if he loses to Edwards, uh, then you know Diaz gonna be popular again, and it's a big payday for him. So I'm, I'd be looking forward to that as well. But shout out to Jake Paul. I know everyone's hating on him, maybe the way he acts, but like, you don't know his personal life, but. He he called out professional fighters and Ben Askren accepted it and he beat a professional fighter. So like now people have nothing to say. And Ben Askren is not like 40, 50 years old where he beat, uh, beat someone that's retired for years. So he and he was a championship fighter in different promotions. So he had a really good performance. And I don't know why people keep saying a YouTube guy can't be a boxer. He can do YouTube and then switch to boxing. He's taking a boxing career dead serious. If he keeps training, training, he can be... Maybe he can get really, really good at boxing and face professional boxers. Yeah, I agree. I mean, he's still young. He can definitely get better. And a lot of boxers started their career late but, and became champions. And one of the best boxers, Bernard Hopkins, started his career very late, uh, became a, a, a champion. Deontay Wilder started his career late uh, and then and it became the heavyweight champion. Uh, I definitely think it, with the money that he has, he can get a great team around him. He can keep, he's very young. He can improve his skills, improve his strength, and he can actually become a really good boxer. But as for calling people out, I think people want him to call out a professional boxer. But I can see his point of view too. He's calling out more famous fighters. A lot of MMA fighters are a lot more famous than boxers. So it's a better payday for him. And I guess, in a sense, it's a, it's a better fight for him too. Because they are, some of them are smaller than him. And of course, like, our, you know, he's a boxer and he's fighting a, MMA fighter, you got to kind of, kind of, kind of give him uh, some leeway there. But he's still calling up professional fighters. Shout out to Jake Paul, and I do think he is gonna get better. Another impressive thing he did was hold his emotions together when he lost his one of his best friends. I think it was security guard Shadow. Rest in peace to him. And um, you know, it's a tough time. It's a tough time, and he held his emotions together and still pulled through. Jake Paul, that's all you can say. He landed that clean overhand right and knocked him clean out. And I don't think it was a bad stoppage. A lot of people are saying it's a bad stoppage. He was a little wobbly after. If he get, if the referee let him go, the next punch he was gonna get knocked out again. It'll just be more brain damage. He's already he's already took enough beating like throughout his career, like every fighter does. So there's no need for extra brain damage. But on to another great performance. Uh, Robert Whitaker put on a performance of his career last night against. Uh, Kevin Gastelum, if you guys watched that fight as well. Um, amazing performance by Robert Whitaker. Great win for him. I hope I hope he gets the rematch with Israel Adesanya. I really want to see that fight. Looking forward to it. But I guess, you know, that's it for today's episode. As always, please stay home. Stay safe. This has been Sports Talk from two Canucks up north, eh?